Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for third graders. Our concept is multiplying and dividing word problems. This is part two. Remember third graders, if you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. We have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links are in the description box for you to grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, there's a link in the description box for you to sign up for a free 30 minute consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, and smash that like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. Let's look at some of the words when we're reading word problems would indicate that we may need to multiply or divide. Let's start with multiplication first. Times, each, in all, twice, per, area, factor, multiple, multiplied by, or equal groups. And for division, half, same, split, quotient, divisor, equal group, separate, distribute, divided by, cut up, shared equally. Let's dive into number 33. And remember, we have our third grade math review workbook available for purchase. A baseball league bought nine boxes of baseballs. Each box contained 36 balls. How many balls did the league buy? A, 324, B, 274, C, 84, D, 34. So in order to solve this problem, the first thing we're going to do is ask ourselves, what are we looking for? We are looking for the number of baseballs the league bought. Now that we know what we're looking for, the next thing we need to discover is, well, what information can help us find the answer? There are two things that can help us find the answer. One is that there are nine boxes of baseballs, and two each box contains 36 baseballs. Now, how do we solve this problem? Since we know that there are nine boxes of baseballs and each box has 36 balls, we're trying to find the total amount of baseballs we need to multiply. So we are going to multiply nine boxes of baseballs by 36 baseballs. Let's dive in and do that now. We have 9 times 30 is equal to 270, and 9 times 6 is equal to 54. Now, when I add those two numbers together, 270 plus 54 is equal to 324. What is our correct answer? Well, all we need to do is look at our answer choices to see which one has the answer of 324. And I bet you see it. Yes, it is A. That is our correct answer. Great job, third graders. Now let's look at number 34. Lynn has a total of 36 sodas in packs. There are six sodas in each pack. How many packs of sodas did Lynn have? The first thing, of course, we need to do is ask ourselves, what are we looking for? And we are looking for how many packs of sodas Lynn has. Now that we know what we're looking for, the next thing we need to do is ask ourselves, what information can help find the answer? The information that can help find the answer is, number one, there are a total of 36 sodas in packs, and also there are six sodas in each pack. Since we know that, how are we going to solve the problem? We need to divide 36 sodas by six sodas in each pack so that we will know how many packs of sodas Lynn have or Lynn has. 
So 36 divided by six is equal to six packs. Again, 36 divided by six is equal to six packs. So what is our correct answer? Yes, we already have it. Lynn has six packs of sodas. And that is it third graders for our multiplying and dividing word problems part two. Remember, we have our third grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. And if you need a tutor, parents, you can sign up with the link in the description box. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.